Well, we now have our answer if the Minnesota Fighting Vikings were going to be buyers at the trade deadline today uh, at 3 p.m. Central Time. Yes. Yes, they absolutely are. Kwesi Adolfo Mensa. I love this man. Kwesi for president. I don't care. I, I, I do not care. Where you, you could second guess him trading in division with the Lions, the trading in division with the Packers on draft day. But now Kwesi has pulling off, pulled off an amazing uh, amazing trade with the Detroit Lions once again as they're in complete selling mode, getting ready for 2023 as the Vikings have acquired star tight end TJ Hawkinson for basically nothing. Ah, yeah. Adam Schefter, go. Trade terms. Uh, Vikings get TJ Hawkinson, a 2023 fourth round pick and a conditional 2024 fourth rounder. Lions get 2023 second rounder and a 2024 third round pick. Also, uh, picture where the Vikings and the Lions are. Lions are in line for the number one overall pick. Vikings are very much in the hunt uh, for lifting that Jerome Barty at the end of the season. So, basically, you're swapping... You get TJ Hawkinson, who's one of the better young tight ends in the National Football League. Uh, Do it all guy, big bodied, 6'5, 240, can catch in the red zone, absolute weapon, also can get after it uh, in the blocking game. But the difference is between a late second rounder and a early fourth rounder this year. And then a 2024, hopefully late third rounder versus a conditionally early fourth rounder next year. I will take that. I mean, we didn't even list Hawkinson on a list of potential players to trade because I didn't think the Lions would be this crazy. This, you're ba- I mean, this makes the Roquan Smith uh, trade look like the Herschel Walker deal. Sorry, bad memories. But my goodness. I, I mean, the Vikings pick up a, a top five tight end in the league and basically nothing. In division, thank you Lions, by the way. My goodness, but uh, the pride of Iowa took uh, took his talents, uh, stayed in the state, Iowa City, 25 years old, 6'5", 250. Mackey Award winner in 2018, absolute physical freak, was a number eight overall selection in 2019 by the Lions, a pro bowler in 2020. Last year, he put up, uh, well, uh, sorry, this season, he put up 26 catches, 395 yards, receiving three touchdowns. Uh, just Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And what's even better is that the Vikings uh, only pick up uh, just a shade under 300000 in salary cap because his base salary is 536 k since he's on his rookie deal. Also, the Vikings uh, have a fifth-year option on him for 2023. So... It's amazing. I understand. Like maybe the Lions were just punting him uh, ahead of having to pay TJ, but this is an absolute gift. This is an absolute gift. Plus, look at this freaking offense so now you have absolute red zone weapon tj hawkinson uh adding adding to the mix irv smith out with a high ankle sprain uh one, one of the reasons why quasi i'm sure pushed for this trade johnny munt is a very capable a blocking tight end a great combination with hawkinson they both can get after it that's exactly what kevin o'connell wants to do up front and they got jefferson and thielen and kj and delvin and madison my goodness my goodness it just quasi you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You know it's true. I, I'm i honestly gobsmacked and flabbergasted. I cannot believe that the Lions would essentially give away TJ Hawkinson in division for nothing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But the Vikings are absolutely going after, man, and I love it. Goal, Glendale, if you're going to be all in, Let's be all in. And the Vikings just shoved all their chips in the middle. Uh, beer thoughts are thoughts. Vikings <laughs> Vikings trade for Lions tight end TJ Hawkinson for basically nothing. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must put the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.